Hi everybody, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert a PDF into a PowerPoint slide using AI in two minutes. And this could be any PDF, it could be a research paper, or it could be another document. Whatever PDF document you have, you can quickly convert it into PowerPoint slides using AI. So let's get started. So the first step basically involves opening the PowerPoint, the, the PDF document, and you should open it in Microsoft Edge and not in any other browser or PDF um, Adobe. Then the next step would be to prompt uh, being um, to prompt Microsoft Edge to actually read this PDF and give you text summaries to create a PowerPoint slide. So as you can see, I've put a prompt here, which basically says, read this PDF, title this name, and create detailed text summaries for me to make a 10 slide PowerPoint. And I will give you this prompt in the very soon, but you can also see it down there on the screen. So basically Bing, Microsoft Edge and Bing Chat will do its work and will read the PDF and then give you basically an output. So as you can see, it has already created an introduction text. Now it will do the background and then in the next step, it will probably talk about the methods, etc. So it's basically creating text summaries that you can use to create your PowerPoint. Okay, so this process can take about 30 seconds. And after that, your output will be ready. So not to delay you on this process further, let's move. So this is the exact prompt I used. I said, read the PDF open titled XXX. I just pasted the title and I said, create detailed text summaries from it for a 10 slide PowerPoint. All right, so let's go to the next step. So in the next step, you need to copy this output and then open Microsoft Word basically and paste it there. And then what you need to do here is you need to convert all the titles into, you need to format them into heading one style and then the text, the slide text into heading two. But before doing that, you need to format your PowerPoint a bit. So what I did here was removed the numbers and I'm just like formatting it a bit so that everything looks okay in the final uh, process that I do. So after formatting, just select your heading titles and convert format them to heading one style and the text to heading two. So you need to do this for the whole document, okay? And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So select head, uh, heading, convert it to uh, heading, select the title, convert it to heading one and the text to heading two. So not to waste your time on this process as well. What you should do is after you have done all of this process, save this file and close it basically. So the next step involves opening PowerPoint and then going to new slide and importing this Word file that you just created, okay? So make sure you close the Word file, which I hadn't done, then go to new slide and then import some slide from outline and choose this Word file, okay? The steps are on top of the screen as well. And basically, that is it. It will create a wonderful slide for you. Now, all you need to do is beautify this slide or edit it or add your, your own details. So you can do this manually or you can use an AI tool. And I'm going to use an AI tool to even make the process faster. So let's go. So the next step involves beautifying this style. So use I will use an app called gamma.app to, to do this process. So uh, let's start. Let me show you again. So open Gamma, go to new with AI, choose text to deck. And here you need to import the PowerPoint you just created. Okay. So you can import it here. So this was the PowerPoint I just created and saved. And here uh, it will import the slide. So in, 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 a, in a few seconds, I will show you the slides that it imported, as you can see here. 
Now all you need to do is add, add a prompt here. So if you click on educational, it will give you an example prompt, but you can change this a bit. So I'm just saying my audience here uh, is researchers and academy, academicians, and then I will click on generate. When you click on generate, it is going, it will give you options of uh, slides you can choose. And there, there are many themes you can, you can choose from. So I couldn't like choose any, so I just clicked on one. In fact, I said, surprise me. And I said, continue. So as you can see here, gamma.app will do its work and create beautiful slides for you uh, in minutes. And j just look at this. Everything looks amazing here. It's creating the slides. And basically, it has also added some diagrams. So all you need to do is look at this text and these slides and then improve basically. But you have something to work with here. And this app is free up to a, you can you can do certain things for free but then if you run out of credits you will need to get some membership i will, I will post the link to joining uh, gamma uh, which which may help me get some credits as well but i mean you can join directly too so your slides are ready you can present directly from here or you can download it as a pdf and i decided to download it as pdf and just give it like a few seconds uh, in which it will basically uh, create the PDF document. So it's currently generating this file. Uh, it will soon give you, and that's the PDF. So as you can see, the PDF slide is ready. Obviously, you need to do this step after you have finalized your style and you have edited everything. So basically, again, within few minutes, you we have successfully converted a document, a PDF document, into a PowerPoint slide. And again, this is a basic PowerPoint slide. You can obviously edit it, but it saves a lot of steps and it saves you a lot of time. And you can actually convert this PDF to a PowerPoint as well. You can do that. Um, just Google it. There are so many like websites where you can just upload the PDF and convert it to PowerPoint. Gamma may allow you to download a PowerPoint directly as well, like the, a PowerPoint of the finished product. So basically, that, that is it. And I hope you like this tutorial. And if you did, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for listening.